Hello everyone, it's Matthew B. 21688, ready to bring you race number five, or uh, no, uh, race number uh, eight of season four of EA Sports Supercross 2000. I did my last race at, uh, I did my last race at Indianapolis as John Dowd, and I ended up winning that race. So this time I'm going to go to Daytona. And I'm going to play as Jimmy Button. Jimmy Button, who took a 125 win at Daytona back in 1994 over when he was a Team Suzuki rider in the 125s. And one of the guys he won over it was his own teammate, Ezra Lusk, who ended up winning the East Series in 94 and 95, I believe, in 94. Supercross events ever. David, on the, the depth of series. field here could be the best of all time. The best I've ever seen. You have to go all the way back to 1982 to find this much talent out there. No, 93 won the East with Doug Henry. 94 and uh, 95, I believe, he won the. No, just in 94. This should be a great race. This should be a great race. Plus, I'm talking about, but Jimmy Button, never a champion in his career. But anyways, let's go. The board is up. you got to stay loose and focused right now. This is the moment of truth. Jimmy Button will get the whole shot here. Wow. You take a chance and make some contact. you got to hope you don't go down as well. And of course, uh, Jimmy Button was former teammates with Jeremy McGrath on the Chaparral Yamaha team. And Button got picked up by Factor Yamaha for the 99 season. Morocco takes over the lead from Jimmy Button. But no one is going to forget what happened to Jimmy Button at Seattle with only on the last lap in a battle with Ward for the final spot on the podium. Number 10, Jimmy Button, our leader, coming around. He looks solid. And that was that Button was leading about six laps before being passed by McGrath. And Tim then he Barry was... drops into fifth place. Barry drops out of qualifying position. But Button, on the last lap, went right off the track and finished in sixth. But since... But from there on, he went on a on a hot streak of a second, a third, and a second, only to suffer an 18th at the next round after Atlanta, which was Tampa, Florida. Tim Ferry dropping back into fifth place. Side-by-side -side action between Button and Mike LaRocco. Just passing, Larry Ward. Our leader, Buttonfly, around again, still looking relaxed and smooth. He's in good shape this year. Looks healthy and confident and very relaxed. And of course, Jimmy Button was the only Chaparral Yamaha rider to make a podium in the 97 year. And that was uh, in uh, Minneapolis when he finished in third behind McGrath and Albertine. David Bailey, is block passing considered legal? Well, it is if you don't intentionally try to knock your opponent off the course. If it's part of your natural line, it's cool. And of course, Jimmy Button also won the Washougal National in 1999 with a 3-1. David, what are these riders thinking when they plan their line through the rhythm section? Well, most riders can just look at these sections and figure out the fastest timing through. There's usually a faster way that not everyone has the confidence to attempt. The idea is to jump through when as fast a timing as possible, avoiding one jump and slowing you down. Jimmy Button logs another lap. Button is hot and cold, but he's hot. He's really bad. Tim Ferry, show it off a bit. Tim 
Ferry is dropping back. David, where does all the dirt for a track come from? Well, they store it outdoors locally and truck it in, so it's going to reflect whatever weather is in the local area. Unfortunately, after that, after that win, although Button ended the season with several podiums, Kevin Windham gets by Larry Ward, moving into fourth place. He only ran the first. Our leader, Button, completes another lap. He'll get a challenge for Mike Morocco. Button was only able to race the first two seasons, the first two races of the 2000 season, before an injury, before an injury in practice in San Diego, pretty much ended his career. David Bailey, the writer really get to show off some style up there. The riders are basically entertainers. The fans want to see a good show, and some riders are more conscious of that than others. Larry Ward is down! Larry Ward tends to get out front quickly, but sometimes loses the leads he builds. He can finish the race as fast as he starts. Oh, and dangerous. Then I just went down. Morocco edges off Jimmy Button. Now they duke it out for all the marbles. One lap to go. Morocco leading the pack. Mike Morocco's a veteran, but just starting to ride his best on the great equipment he has now. You can count on Morocco. One lap to go. riding the four stroke for the 99 season. Became the first rider ever to uh, win a four stroke national, I believe. Larry Ward, show it off to the crowd there. Morocco, grab some big air. And they're serving pretzels on that flight. going to win the heat race, but hopefully I can come back in the main. The checkers are out for Morocco! I think that crash that I had really did me in more than I thought. Morocco wins the heat and transfers to the main. We can only hope the main event will be as exciting as that heat. Four qualifiers. It is Morocco, Button, Ferry, and Wyndham going to the main event. Larry Ward on the bubble will have to go to the LCQ along with Doug Henry, John Dowd, and one more person. It's Mikel Pichon. So Tortelli and Emig will have to go to the sidelines. So there it is, and we'll see you all for the main event.